Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee. Weather in five, five days and five minutes brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware as we get uh, spring cleanups and landscaping underway. They've got mulch, topsoil, gravel, everything else you need to make your yard look like the best in the neighborhood. 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York. 6317561125 is the telephone number and the website is omnitruevalue.com. So the big story really for the next five days is the decline in temperatures that we're going to be seeing. And it's eventually going to take us to a point Monday into Tuesday where we will see temperatures averaging 15 to as much as 20 degrees below average. But it's coming in steps. We are going to have to wait for the colder air to arrive and that will start to arrive uh, during Sunday Sunday night, Monday, we're going to hit bottom Monday night and then maybe start to bounce up a little bit on Tuesday. So I've got the low temperature forecast here. This is for Sunday morning when we will see temperatures down mostly in the 30s, which this time of year isn't too shabby. But the daytime highs are going to start to struggle. We're going to be in the 50s to low 60s today. We'll be in the low and mid 50s for highs on Saturday with maybe some 40s in inland spots. And highs on Sunday, uh, even though we're going to be bottoming out in the 30s, this time of year you can easily jump 20, 25 degrees off the lows. Well, we're probably going to stop somewhere in the low to mid 40s. Now, the, with the cold air coming in, it's also going to come with the wind, by the way, uh, and that's going to make it feel much colder. So Monday morning, you'll be waking up to temperatures in the low and middle 20s. And if you head up into northeastern Pennsylvania and on up the Hudson Valley, we're going to be see temperatures down in the teens. And Monday's highs will not get much out of the, the uh, low and middle 30s in most places. And you're going to couple that with a bit of a wind. And Monday night into Tuesday morning, another cold night with temperatures again generally bottoming out in the upper teens to low and mid 20s. That'll be the range. And then after that, as I said, we're going to start uh, seeing a bounce. Now, with respect to severe weather, because of course, being the time of year that we're in, severe weather, uh, as we saw this week, is normal. Is it can be an issue. We do not have any severe weather risk today, tomorrow, or Sunday. In fact, we don't even have thunderstorms that are being forecast for uh, today, tomorrow, or Sunday. So we'll have to start to move into the long range and SPC for. Tuesday into Wednesday in their long range forecast is indicating risk uh, for uh, the south. And we're going to see uh, pretty much a repeat of what we saw this week in terms of where that severe weather risk winds up being. So Tuesday into Wednesday, we're looking in north central Texas, uh, Oklahoma into Kansas. And they're indicating a slight risk at the moment with that 15 percent area. The next day it shifts eastward to Louisiana, Mississippi, Arkansas, Tennessee, and western Alabama. And beyond that, uh, the predictability is considered to be too low by uh, SPC, the Storm Prediction Center. Meanwhile, today we are uh, going to still have to do a little bit of house cleaning. Uh, the back edge of the clouds this morning as of 8 a.m. riding right along the immediate coast. That's going to continue to shift eastward. So we'll see decreasing clouds, increasing sunshine. Uh, some areas have already seen the clouds move out. Uh, but we do have an upper trough. If you take a look at back in the west over the Great Lakes, there's an upper trough that's swinging eastward. And that is going to be impacting our weather uh, as we move into Saturday. Here's the radar this morning. All the rain is offshore uh, and continuing to slide out to the east. There's some leftover rain showers in southeastern Virginia and eastern North Carolina and also extending down into parts of central north uh, coastal Florida there along the north central coast. Again, that's all going to be sliding out uh, to the east. And we're beginning to see the precipitation with the cold upper trough back over to the Great Lakes in the form of some, sun, uh, some snow. So let's take you through the weekend and into next week. Of course, I don't see any issues today. No rain showers are forecast. But tomorrow, as that upper trough swings through, this is tomorrow morning, we might start with some sun very early on, but we should quickly cloud up as that energy shifts eastward. And then during Saturday morning into Saturday afternoon, 
You see rain showers being indicated over parts of New Jersey, the Hudson Valley, and Long Island, down into Delaware, and snow showers uh, in uh, eastern from eastern Pennsylvania on westward, or northeastern Pennsylvania on westward, and also into parts of upstate New York as the lake mach effect machine starts to get turned on. And notice as we get into Sunday, the gradient tightens up, so it's going to be on the breezy to occasionally windy side for Sunday as those temperatures fall off. And then the core of the cold air comes in for Sunday night into Monday morning. And Monday will still be a breezy day. So with temperatures only in the 30s, it's going to feel like it's down in the low 20s. But at least uh, for Sunday, we should have more sunshine around and fewer clouds, though I don't think we'll be cloud free. And Monday will probably be uh, a day where skies will be partly to mostly sunny. Beyond that, on Tuesday... We'll still have a little bit of that cold air left, but the temperatures will try to bounce up into the mid-40s. It's still well below where we should be for this time of year, which is up in the middle 50s. And then here comes low pressure coming out of the plains and moving eastward. A, a rather strong low forms in southeast Kansas. You can see how the GFS generates uh, showers and thunderstorms. Tuesday night into Wednesday morning in the area of defined risk we showed you earlier. Then gradually that moves eastward through the Gulf states as we go through the rest of, of next week. But as far as rain is concerned for the northeast and northern mid-Atlantic states, it probably won't see any until Thursday night into Friday as the next cold front uh, arrives. So that pretty much sums up the next five to seven days. Weather in Five is brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon. 631-756-1125 is the phone number. And the website is omnitruevalue.com. So it's the last weekend of the month of March. So uh, enjoy it in spite of the fact that it's going to be colder uh, and eventually a lot colder than what you might like for this time of year. No Joe and Joe weather show until Sunday morning, tentatively scheduled for 11 a.m. Eastern Time. There's a chance that we might move it to Sunday evening, uh, so I'll let you know about that over the weekend. Have a great Friday and a great weekend.